The model we are going to assemble today is a toothbrush car. It can move because of the vibration which is created by an eccentric. An eccentric is a small cylinder which is secured slightly off-center on the shaft of the electric motor. When we turn on the motor, the eccentric starts rotating unevenly and the car begins to vibrate. The bristles on the brushes, which are slightly slanted in one direction, begin to vibrate as well and the car starts moving in the opposite direction of the slant. In order to assemble our toothbrush car, we need the following parts. Two toothbrushes with pre-drilled holes. The base. The battery holder. The wheels. The support plates. The electric motor. The eccentric. The harness that we use to secure the motor to the base. And two wire pipe cleaners that we use to suspend and attach the wheels. First, we'll take the four paper fasteners and the base. Insert them into the four pre-drilled holes on the base. Turn it upside down and place the two toothbrushes over the fasteners with the bristles pointing up. Place the beads on top of the fasteners and bend the fasteners legs. It is time to attach the battery. Remove the adhesive backing. And glue on the battery like so. The side with the longer contacts should be facing the bristles. Press firmly. Now we will place the motor support plate. Remove the adhesive backing. and apply it on this end of the base. Make sure the holes on the base and on the plate match each other. Now we will attach the motor, but first we'll insert our eccentric onto the shaft. Remove the tape backing and carefully stick it on the center, like so. Now, we'll cover the motor with the harness to even further secure it onto the base. Remove adhesive backing from the harness Insert our paper fasteners halfway into the holes in the harness and guide them into the openings in the support plate. First on one side, then on the other. Bend the legs of the fasteners.
Now it is time to attach our wires to the power source contacts. If the wires are too long, we can make them into springs by wrapping them around a tube or a pencil, just like so. In this instance, when attaching the wires to the battery source, the polarity is not important, so the wires can be attached to either contact. Remove the bead and insert the tip of the wire between the two legs of the fastener. Wrap it around and place the bead back on. Make sure only the exposed tip of the wire is touching the metal fastener. Repeat the same steps with this contact. After attaching the second wire, make sure that the tips of the wires are not touching each other. Now we will begin to assemble the wheels. We will use this small device to help us with this task. Here we have a larger, thinner disc and two smaller discs, or hubs, which we will be attaching to both sides of the larger disc. First place the small disc onto the pin adhesive side up. Remove the tape backing. Next, place the larger disc on the pin as well and press firmly. Now again, remove the backing from the second smaller disc and place it over the large one, sticky side down, and also remember to press down. Now carefully remove the assembled wheel from the pin. Repeat the same steps with the second wheel. Now we can place our first wheel on the axle. First, take one bead and place it on the tip of the axle. You can use a small wooden hammer to help you. Now we need to put the wheel on. It is easy to do that with the help of a hammer. Carefully slide it down the axle and apply pressure evenly in order to avoid breaking it. Check if the wheel is straight. Place one more bead on the other side of the wheel. You can use this rigid tube to push the bead all the way down the axle to the wheel. Now we will use this plate to help suspend the rear wheels. Take the two pipe cleaners and insert them into the outer channels on both sides of this plate. Make sure that the plate is centered. Bend them like so. Place one bead on each side. Leave some space. Insert both pipe cleaner wires into the outer channels of each side of the base. The car can be steered by pulling out the wires on one side or the other. This suspension mechanism prevents the vibration from being transferred to the wheels. Now we will take our half complete axle and insert it into the middle channel of our suspension plate. Place one more bead on this end of the axle.
When you slide the bead down, leave a small gap in order to ensure that the axle turns freely. Put the second wheel on. Again, you can use a hammer to help insert the axle into the wheel. In order to avoid breaking the axle, it is important to apply pressure evenly and vertically when sliding the second wheel down. Place the last bead on the end and gently tap on it with a hammer. You can also use the tube to push it down. The toothbrush car is ready. We can now test it.